We're here with our, uh, with our friend Tom Hanks. Tom, excited about the new movie Inferno. Always, always fun to make three of a time kind of movie. Yeah, this is uh, this is the last. Uh, this is the latest Dan Brown. Yeah, Dan Brown, where yes. it's, it's like there's a great puzzle. Robert Langdon. I keep trying to call them the the Robert Langdon series, but everybody says you making another Da Vinci Code. So well, yeah. no, I'm making another Robert Langdon mystery. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Is he the guy in Da Vinci Code? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, we're doing the Inferno! It's coming out. Inferno, yeah. It's and uh, uh, in, in this one, again, you're Robert Langdon, and you're trying to save the world again. Exactly. Okay. Always. And uh, we, ha we have a... Uh... And I wonder if I do. <laughs> Who knows? We'll, we'll find out. It hangs we'll in the out. balance. You know, right up we have a clip here. Oh, uh, do you great. know what this clip is? I have no idea I what I do not clip. either. And that'll be exciting, Jim. <laughs> Right above the hall of 500, there's a stairway leading down to the street on the other side. So, one step at a time. Invested. I'm glad I had heavily invested. Yeah, I love now that. that that is, I did actually. I, I saw more of that clip. That's in the Uffizi Gallery, right? In uh, that is uh, uh, the above the Hall of the Five Hundred. That was a fabulous. Where's the Hall of the Five Hundred? Hall of Five Hundred is in is in the uh, Palazzo Vecchio. Okay. It is called the Hall of Five Hundred because in the old days, with you know big dresses, they could fit five hundred people in there. Wow. And it is a gorgeous place, and I can't believe they were letting us. Shoot there because you're you're surrounded literally by by masterpieces everywhere, everywhere. Now, when when another one of these books come out, do you do you call uh, uh, Ron or does he call you? Because because it must be so fun for you to go like, where do I get to go this time? Because well, it's the greatest yeah. trip in the world. I kind of like go to the most beautiful places. I do, and I read them with my Google page open because every time they make a reference to a place or an art piece, art history or architecture, yeah. I get to look it up and say, man, I hope we get to shoot there. And we do. We get to go to. We get to. I was in. I was. We were in Florence for weeks, and uh, uh, you get to. I'd like to. I'd walk to work with literally a cappuccino in the morning from the hotel. And, Across the Ponte Vecchio, surrounded by antiquities, it was beautiful. It's a great gig, man. Wow, that does not Better suck. Than... Yeah. <laughs> Very nice place. No, Very it's nice always place. a play, and, yeah. and it's great to work. I love, I love working with Ron. I mean, drive, drives us nuts. But we have a, and it's a, it's a very fun scavenger hunt movie. Now, the the uh, the the premise of the movie, the opening question of the movie is, if you yeah. could push a button, this is the first line. I'm no, no, this is not a spoilers. If you could push a button and kill half of humanity, right. knowing it. That if you didn't push it, mankind would be extinct in a hundred years. Would you do it? It's about overpopulation and exactly. the numbers are adding up. And Tom the Hanks. Time will come. Tom Hanks. If you could push a button, yes, and it would kill half of humanity, knowing that if you didn't push that button, all of us would die. What would you do? Supposedly nice person, Tom Hanks. <laughs> you know that's an interesting question, but I, I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to go here. Anyway. All right. All right. All right. You try to make me go look on. bad. Let's go that on, is, that's like I the Corbinite on. maneuver or something like that. The I mean, Corbinite well, maneuver. Well, like, there's no correct that answer to that question. Cut first season. Thank Star you very Trek. much. There's, there's no wow. right answer to that question. Did you ever? You you did you big fan of Star Trek? I oh, I, it was on every day at six o'clock, KTVU channel. Did two. you did you ever want to do it? Like, did you ever want to be like on one of the movies or the series or anything like that? I would like to be a guy in a red shirt that gets killed on the planet. You know. <laughs> Any, any other disappointments, like roles you really would like? Oh, to... dear Lord. Oh, well, listen, uh, there was a... Um, I drove home once from the valley all bummed out, thinking that that's it, I can't do it, because um, I didn't get a call back to Police Academy, the first Police Academy. <laughs> no, I'm serious. What year? What year no, is this? I'm serious. It was 82, something like that. 82. You know, in, 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 if you're of a certain age, everybody in, in town anybody knows what's casting. And it was like, this is a bonanza. There's like 49 cops in this thing. There's no way. I, you know, I'm as, I'm as good as half those guys. Come on. They, I, 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 I can be funny enough. It had Gutenberg that yeah. was getting everything, and Michael Winslow, the guy, or the guy that did the sound effects and stuff like that. And and it, was it was going to shoot in Toronto. I, they, literally, I got like, hey, great, thank you. That was it. And I'm like, driving home to my Honda Civics, just like bummed out, that's it. 
Uh, and so then, no Toronto, but you got Florence. Well, it, look, you know, life is long, my friend, and just like, um, <laughs> just like turning 60, just wait, just wait. <laughs> just wait, see what happens. Um, here's something that happened that uh, I think made some people very happy. Can you explain, before I show this to people, can you explain what's, what's happening here, what this photo is all about? Uh, that was, uh, was that, is that me and Ryan and Elizabeth? Yeah, that yeah, was, I was Park. in Central Park. Believe it or not, Cat Stevens was performing on the Great Lawn for the big one, one cause. So Cat Stevens is Yusuf performing. Yusuf Islam. I'm being followed by a... So this is playing in the background. <laughs> oh, don't I'm stop. I'm being followed by, by a moon. moon. Shadow. And I'm walking moon shadow, moon shadow. And then I keep going, I don't know if you can, you, can you fake it? I'm the cat Stevens hopping on a moon shadow. Moon shadow. So that's playing, and I come across this wedding party that's getting their photograph taken. So I stopped off. It was right by the reservoir. I said, hey, folks, how you doing? And uh, got the picture. Wish the bride, Elizabeth, was lovely. Ryan uh, was uh, lovely in his way. And... Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I wish them the best, and they had little ring bearers and whatnot. And, I, and there's something I always say to everybody getting married. I say to the guy, you, sir, are a very lucky man. And I say to the bride, and you could have done a little better. <laughs> <laughs> because that is they always my could. marriage in a nutshell. They always yeah, could. Yeah. They always could. My marriage every in a man, nutshell. every man marries up. Well, oh, without a question. Well, I, I know I did. Tom, thanks for being here. Always a pleasure. Thanks. Inferno opens this Friday. Mr. Tom Hanks, everybody. We'll be right back with Adam Conover.